Okay guys, we've got a full video ahead, but I have to talk about the fact that Gypsy Rose not only left her husband, like she just got out of jail, but she is now with her ex fiance. So we're gonna talk a little bit about her breakup in this video, but I wanted to add this segment in the beginning to remind you guys that Gypsy is a player. I mean, she is out here at the tattoo shop with her ex fiance. I don't know if she got a tattoo, but she's looking tan. She went blonde and Gypsy is really trying to find her own. And I think it's such an interesting experience. Oh, good Lord, Gypsy Rose. Y'all, allegedly, this is Gypsy and Ken, her ex-fiance. Mm -hmm. This article that was announcing separation of Gypsy Rose and her husband, Ryan, that's from March 29th, okay? In that article from March 29th, it says she confirmed on social media this week. March 29th was last week. So just little days ago, little days ago, she let us know the fire was not so fire. I'm very curious what his tattoo is and did Gypsy get one? Does anybody know that? Um, I know Gypsy doesn't look like she's getting a tattoo right here, but just curious minds want to know. So yeah, our girl Gypsy, she moves on quick. She's definitely a relationship junkie like myself, but here's the rest of our video about her separation. We became friends and then of course more than friends mm -hmm. and then now we're married. <laughs> and the D is fire. Gypsy and Ryan had only been married for four months when Gypsy was considering an annulment. I saw this coming from a mile away. I'm surprised they lasted this long. I could give a F. That's not real life. Ryan Anderson better watch his back because now his prison wife is turning against him. Gypsy Rose Blanchard went to jail for taking out her mother, and after serving time, she came out with a husband and millions of followers. Now that reality has sunken in, these two realize they weren't really a match from the beginning, and Gypsy is ready to move on. So let's get into it. <music> If you aren't subscribed to the Let's Get Into It podcast, then you're only getting half the tea. For longer videos, deep dives, and of course, more of me, subscribe to the Let's Get Into It podcast listed in the description below. Poor little Gypsy Rose. She got out of jail and uh, she was married, which I mean, being married while in jail, it's a little bit complicated. So I didn't know how things were going to play out, but the worst has happened and she and her husband are now separating. So I guess the D was fire, but you know, fire can only last for so long. You got to have a little bit more than just, uh, you know, that fire D that Ryan had. And the D is fire. Gypsy Rose Blanchard separates from husband three months after prison release. I mean, honestly, she's been locked up her whole life. You know, she had her mother controlling her life. I could totally understand why she would need some independence and freedom. I mean, even her father said that she like shouldn't be married and moving into Ryan's right after getting out of jail. She should go home with them and figure out herself as a person. If you guys don't know Gypsy Rose Blanchard, just like a quick like elevator summary. She is a little girl who has a, a mother who had been murdered by someone that she was dating. Her mother suffered from Munchausen syndrome, so she would continue to put Gypsy Rose in situations to have operations, to be taking medications, to essentially trap her, lie about her age. It sounds like an absolute nightmare. So I don't know where you stand on the Gypsy Rose Blanchard situation. I feel like it's kind of political, like you keep it to yourself. But uh, I am interested in her story nonetheless. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her husband, Ryan Scott Anderson, are calling it quits less than three months after she was released from prison. Keep in mind they are in Louisiana. No, they're in Missouri. Missouri or Louisiana. Looking at these two, I just don't know if love exists anymore because if Gypsy and Ryan didn't work out, then what has the world come to? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, it's just kind of an interesting story to watch. And I really do hope that they are both okay mentally because it's a lot of pressure. I'm pretty sure she signed a lifetime deal. So I wonder if they've been filming this entire process because this, I mean, this would make for good TV. Gypsy writes, people have been asking what's going on in my life. Unfortunately, my husband and I are going through a separation. I moved in with my parents down the bayou. I'm pretty sure that's where like Terry Joe says she lives in the, in the bayou in Louisiana, which I guess that is like a real place. I don't, I'm not familiar with Louisiana. I've never been. She says, I have the support of my family and friends to help guide me through this. I'm learning to listen to my heart right now. I need time to let myself 
myself find who I am. Which is exactly what everyone's been saying this entire time that she needs to get out and like, I don't know. I mean, at least being married just was a big step, especially doing all that press and Ryan was in all of it. And like now they're forever going to be associated as as this couple as, you know, nobody can get me down. The D's fire. Well, that didn't last long. Gypsy Rose says she's having a hot girl summer today, boy. I guess instead of the D being fire, the D is now fired. See what I did there? And all seriousness, y'all, I saw this coming from a mile away. I'm surprised they lasted this long. I won't go as far as to say that she never loved Ryan. I feel like more than anything, she just wanted some romantic companionship, especially since she was locked up in prison for nearly a decade. Especially since she wasn't able to have much of a love life beforehand due to her controlling mother. And then when she did get into her first real relationship, we know how that turned out. Could you imagine seeing either one of their profiles on a dating app? That would send me all the way into orbit. Someone agreed, wow, that was fast. Melinda said, I mean, it makes sense. This is the first time they've actually spent one-on-one -on -one time together for long periods of time. This person added, I think she separated because she rushed into marriage. She got out and realized that she was still young and had time to live her life when she wasn't able to for very long. Edith added, honestly, good for her. She needs some time alone to become her own person after all the trauma she's been through. And then also everyone else is saying that low-key, they knew this was going to happen. And I hate to say it, maybe we all did see this coming, but do you remember when you were young you have to learn those lessons you've got that friend saying like oh no that guy sucks that girlfriend is terrible like you know stay away from them but you just can't help yourself and you know gypsy she you know temptation she's been tempted before uh so she you know did that and despite probably the best advice she needed to learn that lesson and good for her that she was able to at least get out prior to their separation gypsy was quoted saying that they wanted to do a redo wedding with a reception so she can get her dress her cake and have the wedding that they would deserve at this point it kind of just seems like ryan is just a filler like she you know she just wants someone to spend time with to have that like that one tiktoker said that romantic bond with someone to check the box off and get married with without really having time to explore and see who she really would want to spend her time with. I mean, Ryan's the type of guy who writes long letters to people who are in prison to try to, like, you know, get with them, I guess, which I don't know. I mean, she is a criminal technically, but, like, he's got to be an interesting dude himself. Look at the newlyweds. So cute. And rocking that new ring, too, I, I see, know. Gypsy. This was actually his mother's, so... It's passed Carolyn. down to me. So uh, it was always meant to go to my wife. So And it fits perfectly. It didn't need to be adjusted at all or anything. Well, I guess it was just meant to be. Meant exactly, to be, right. Exactly. Yeah. You are the one, as you said, on the green. Right. We became friends and then, of course, more than friends. Mm -hmm. And then now we're married. <laughs> incredible. Congratulations Thank to you, you both. We call it a newly together with. Yeah. Uh, you know, because we've been married year and a year and a half. Year and a half. Right. So it's newly together with, but it, it's yeah. it's nice. Like it's what I've been waiting for. But was the transition difficult? I mean, for a year or so, you guys were married behind bars. Mm -hmm. Now you're newly together. Mm -hmm. Uh, so what, what's that transition been like for the two of you? I mean, maybe what it's been five, six days. Yeah, but so I we're just, still learning each other. Yeah, the transition know? has been pretty but simple been right now. I still can't get over the fact that lifetime took these two, took Gypsy five days out of prison, and is having her sit and do these interviews. I mean, literally days after getting out, she was in front of the camera with her husband doing press. They really had no time alone. And like, uh, Lifetime totally exploited that. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna hate on them right now. But like, looking at it now, it's like, you know, in hindsight, like, she really had no time to adjust to the real world before she became a star. And she's deleted all of her social media since because she just wanted some time to, I guess, what she said, figure herself out. We could have seen this coming because Gypsy was quoted saying, I think the only fear I have is honestly just making sure that we have a good conflict resolution. She said, I'm a very in the moment type of person. So I want to make sure that if we have an argument, I want to clear it up in the moment. He is the opposite, where he has to sit on things and think about it and then come back a couple hours later and resolve it which i'm totally more of a gypsy type like i would rather hash it out right there let's talk about our feelings like i don't want to have a grudge i don't want to have resentment so i totally know what you mean gypsy like I, I i'm confrontational in that way too there were rumors of gypsy being pregnant at some point and she did say she wanted to have kids uh but um you know it's it obviously this one's not going to work out and good they didn't rush into it i mean imagine if she was pregnant right now that would be really terrifying as i mentioned gypsy deleted her social media and there's been some conspiracies on to why she would have done this she may say it's to figure her 
yourself out and to find some time, but others say it could be a legal thing. Headlines read, Gypsy Rose delete social media so she won't get in trouble and go back to jail. I don't know where this is coming from because I thought she did her time. Reports write, Gypsy, who served eight years in prison for the murder of her mother, deleted her accounts at the advisement of her parole officer so she won't get in trouble and go back to jail. And this is what a source told People Magazine. Gypsy Rose has removed her videos from her YouTube channel, which was this video, this comment is too. Now she was actually engaging with people in the comments and I got some screenshots. So this person asked a question. She says, you were well aware too. So Gypsy responds, I spent my time in prison for that. I didn't choose my sentence and how many years I got to spend in prison. I didn't choose how many years my co-defendant got. A jury decided his fate, not me. And it is also a part of my parole conditions not to have anything to do with him. So I'm not going to violate my parole to advocate for him. And here's something else that people don't know. The prosecutor actually offered him twice a deal and he turned the deals down. The deals were 25 years and he turned them down. If he would have taken a deal to 25 years, he would have gotten 10 years and he would have gotten 25 years, but he turned down his deal, which I'm pretty sure we do know that information. Now, there's a valid theory. I mean, maybe Gypsy's talking a little too much and it could be violating her parole, which we don't want her to go back to jail for violating parole. I mean, I think this is an obscure case because of the amount of det attention she's getting. So, you know, I don't think that like it's, I don't know, so wrong for her to comment on these things. But I guess like legally, technically it is. And there are people who really don't like her. So they're going to try to go after her if she breaks any rules. She did post a farewell video saying that she wants to take accountability and that social media is not real. She wants an authentic life. And it looks like Ryan's D is now, you know, what's it called when you extinguish a fire? I guess it's extinguished. Yeah, the fire is out. The D is gone. It's shriveled up and she has moved out. And you know what? I had absolutely no trouble or like doubts of deleting that public one. And I have people that are like, oh my God, like you're insane for deleting that kind of a following. And I'm like, I could give a F about a following. Like that's not, that's not real life. Ever since Gypsy got out of jail, people have been keeping up with her life. I mean, she went blonde and people were confused at what is she like, you know, doing with her new look. I mean, I thought it was innocent. Like she's just out here experimenting and living life. There was a picture where I saw it looked like she was like her stomach was like, you know, like L and she like, it, I didn't they get a puppy together too? Where's the puppy? Where's the puppy at? But it looked like her stomach was kind of out and like that she was giving pregnant vibes. So there were all these rumors that she was pregnant by Ryan and her, her hair's blonde. She's got a puppy. Now she's moved out. It really feels like she's like kind of a Lindsay Lohan in a different dimension as far as this media coverage goes. Congratulations, everyone. You successfully got Gypsy Rose Blanchard to delete all of her social media. It's just been revealed that Gypsy deleted her Instagram, her TikTok, and any other socials that she has because of all of the bullying that's been going on. It's no secret that for the past few months, Anything that Gypsy does gets heavily critiqued by the public. Not to mention there's a ton of rumors going around with people saying that she's pregnant. Like she's pregnant. No, she is. I know, but no. So it looks like Gypsy has finally had enough and said, quote, with the public scrutiny as bad as it is, I just don't want to live my life under a microscope. So although when she got out of prison, she was ready to share and document her life, people on TikTok as usual ended up taking it way too far. However, there are a few people who are speculating that the real reason that she's deleting her social media is because her parole officer advised her to so she won't go back to jail. Because apparently with all of the confessionals that she's been doing, the state could allegedly build a case against her. But regardless, people on social media were on her side for the most part and were saying that they understood why she deleted everything. Now it's unfortunate that Gypsy and Ryan's marriage has ended because you know we all love love on this channel. We want people to get married. We believe in that. We you know we love a good romantic bond, a little prison love story, but it didn't work out. And it actually didn't work out in the beginning either because in the beginning they got married while she was in prison and I believe like three months in they kind of called it off. So there were some red flags from the start. We know this is not the first time that Gypsy has considered a separation from Ryan. In fact, Gypsy and Ryan had only been married for four months when Gypsy was considering an annulment. We know that Gypsy and Ryan had an argument argument when Gypsy communicated with one of her exes and that Gypsy's family and friends weren't exactly thrilled when she told them she wanted to marry Ryan while she was still in prison. Now it is likely that we will see all of this unfold as Gypsy has currently been filming for her new docu-follow with the Lifetime Network. 
Now, when it came to Gypsy's parents, her father actually said that he called this a long time ago. Headlines read that Gypsy's dad gave her marriage a 50-50 chance because she can be spontaneous. Her father previously expressed reservations about his daughter's marriage to Ryan Scott Anderson before the couple split was announced. He said she can be spontaneous and make quick decisions and just jump into things without thinking. He said after she got out of prison, he wishes that she would come home and be with her parents until her parole was over. She's grown. She was told what to do all her life. We just wish she wouldn't move in with him. But like I told her, if it doesn't work out, I'll be there to help pick up the pieces. So that's really sweet that he says he hopes it works out for her, but he's going to be there to rescue her. And I'm sure he stepped in because it seems like Gypsy's doing okay. Either way, her story, it's complicated. It's fascinating. Uh, it's bizarre. It's really like, excuse me. I almost like uh, cussed. It's bizarre. But, um, you know, good for her. Good for her. I'm glad. I hope she's not. I don't think she's pregnant. I'm not. You know, the takeaway when I'm if I was a viewer takeaway from this video, she's not pregnant. Right. I don't think she's pregnant. That was just like a rumor. And the dog, though, another takeaway. Where's the dog? <laughs> Where's that dog at? Like they got a cute dog, too. And you guys know I'm a dog person. So, I, you know. As long as the dog's good, I don't care about the Instagram or anything else. I do wonder if Ryan kept his Instagram, though. Like, ew, if he did, if he got a bunch of followers because he was Gypsy's husband and now he's, like, just going to keep it. Be, like, a little internet celebrity, a little Instagram celebrity. Maybe try to pull other girls now through his Instagram clout. Ah, I can't. I can't. Okay, end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in a new one soon. Bye, guys.